This is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to look at a little tour of the web browsing capabilities on the T-Mobile G1. So I go to the browser. Whoops. Trackball. A little sensitive sometimes. And here we are on the Google homepage. I'm going to search for something local. And that didn't change much, so we're just going to type in. That's the one I want. Oops. So, say you get a text message or someone asking a question, you know, where are we meeting tonight, or what time does the movie start, and where do we go, all that kind of stuff. On Windows Mobile, usually I just do a search the location and copy the address into a text message and send it right back to them. So if I do that on Google Android, we get the address and you can't, there's no tap and hold menu, you can't select it. You can click on it and it brings you a map, but there's no way to copy the address into a text message back to that person. If, if you're in a text field, you can tap and hold, select all, what's that do? Anyway, there is copy and paste capabilities only if you're in a text field. I'm pressing back here and it doesn't seem to want to go back. You also have multiple windows capability, which is great. So I can do a new window. And I can get back to Google, since the back button wasn't working over there. And I'll go to local again. Type in something. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. There it is. Now we also have, a, if you press our menu button, we have bookmarks. We can save our favorites. And we are connected to T-Mobile 3G, which is pretty fast. That's good. Let's load the New York Times. Now you see scroll bars over there, indicators, very thin at the side and bottom. So if you touch, you can move it. And you see uh, magnifying glasses appear here after you touch and move. So say I moved it right over there and I want to maybe look at that. Once it goes away, you really can't zoom in anymore. You have to touch it again and then oh, you're hitting a link. You have to touch and pan and then it comes back and then you can zoom. But I already clicked on something so it's going to a different one. So it's a little bit difficult as I zoom out. Still loading. And if I press menu, there's no button for zooming. So I can't I can't access that zoom capability with the keyboard which is unfortunate. You have to actually touch the screen and get grease on it. If I use the trackball, I can scroll to different links. For some reason, the trackball is much more sensitive in the browser than it is elsewhere. The slightest little movement 
moves it further than you expect. If I touch and move again, we get our icons back. There's another one over here. That's basically a zoomed out view, and you have a little magnifying box right there. If you tap on the magnifying box, you can move it around. This doesn't really work very well since my finger covers up the whole magnifying glass box. I can't really see what's under there or what I'm looking for. But once you let go, it'll zoom in. Okay. Zooms in pretty good. My pages look good. There's no double tap. And it doesn't fit to the width of the screen automatically. Sometimes it doesn't zoom out. There's also a search bar. Really quickly you can move or get the search from Google. More button. Our back and forward menu buttons are buried. However, there are shortcut keys, as you can see, they are listed. And there's our zoom, that's how we access it from the keyboard. Look at that, just what I was looking for, buried. And this is much easier with the trackball. Now I can see what it's looking at. So there's our web browser on the T-Mobile G1.